For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. For God sent not his Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. of Jesus Christ's life was to redeem mankind so that we, through repentance, would have a way to return to our Heavenly Father. years before Jesus Christ was born, people had again fallen into apostasy. Jesus was born of Mary and was the only begotten Son of our Heavenly Father. Christ was taught the gospel as a child. He sought direction and guidance from the Holy Ghost. When he was 12 years old, Jesus went on his own to the temple where he astonished the teachers with his understanding. Jesus was baptized by immersion by John the Baptist to fulfill all righteousness. Christ began his ministry by fasting for 40 days. Jesus then called 12 apostles and gave them the authority to baptize in his name. And when it was day, he called unto him his disciples, and of them he chose twelve, whom also he named apostles. And no man taketh this honor unto himself, but he that is called of God, as was Aaron. We believe that a man must be called of God by prophecy and by the laying on of hands by those who are in authority to preach the gospel and administer in the ordinances thereof. Ye have not chosen me, but I have chosen you, and ordained you that ye should go and bring forth fruit, and that your fruit should remain. That whatsoever ye shall ask of the Father in my name, he may give it you. Jesus and the apostles went forth teaching and baptizing all who would believe. Jesus Christ performed many miracles. These miracles strengthened the faith of the believers and made enemies of the non-believers. It got to the point that the scribes and Pharisees did not like that Jesus was teaching that the current church had lost its way and was teaching false doctrine and that he was performing miracles. These leaders brought false charges against Jesus. Before he was arrested, Jesus Christ took some of his apostles and went to the Garden of Gethsemane. Jesus went off by himself. This is where Jesus took upon himself the weight of all the suffering for the sins of all mankind. This supreme sacrifice even required Heavenly Father to withdraw the Holy Ghost from him for a time. Jesus was then betrayed by one of his apostles and was turned over to the Romans. Then Jesus sealed the atonement by giving his life on the cross. His resurrection three days later completed this greatest sacrifice for all mankind. <laughs>